All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is a very exciting day. I am announcing um, I'm starting a new game. Um, I just finished um, Artifact, The Journey Unraveled. I threw it up on itch.io. Um, it's already had a, a, quite a few uh, sales, at least for me, especially for, uh, for my first um, ever uh, produced game. Um, so thank you for everyone who purchased the game and uh, who checked it out. Um, and this game is going to be a little bit different uh, just because it's going to be uh, 3D. It's going to be um, multiplayer, hopefully, if I can get um, get multiplayer figured out um, and, and set up. Um, most likely peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, and I'm calling it Project Thanatos. Um, the name might not be, <laughs> might not be permanent, um, but Project Thanatos is the, the working title for now. Um, and it just means... Uh, Thanatos was the Greek god of, uh, of death, um, and the game kind of revolves a lot around it. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to pull up um, Unreal Engine Project um, for Project Thanatos. This is just the, the main menu, <clears throat> and I'm just going to open up the, uh, the main level to show you guys what's going on. It's, um, I've only been working on it for about, about a week now, um, so not too, too long. Um, so it's still very, very, very rough. Um, I do have the, the multiple spawns for different players. Um, I do have, um, the ability to spawn multiple players. Um, the thing that I just wanted to get worked out was, um, interactables. Um, and this game is actually going to be a, a slight, like a puzzle game. Um, there is going to be some mild combat, um, I'm thinking. I um, haven't decided on it yet. Um, uh, but it's definitely going to be a, a puzzle-based game. Uh, so this is the, the starting area, the area where you uh, you kind of get your bearings, um, kind of to, to understand how the game works a little bit. Um, there isn't really much in here. Um, and and then we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna try and not show too too much of the game. Granted, there isn't too too much to show yet. Um, then this is a loading area. Um, this is also the first game where I've ever um, used something called level streaming, um, which is if you see these yellow bounding boxes. Um, once I pass over the threshold of one. Um, basically, it unloads one area from memory. Um, so when I pass over this bounding box, it loads this area into memory. And when I pass over this, it unloads all of this from memory. Um, and that's just to make the, the game run more uh, performant. Um, so I'm actually going to, to launch the game um, as the executable, which is right here. And... Let's see, there we go. Uh, OBS didn't want to capture the first few seconds of the gameplay. Um, I do have uh, MSI Afterburner at the top uh, left, um, just so you can get a good idea. I have a reasonably powerful machine. Um, I am trying to work on the, uh, the GPU uh, being so high. Um, I feel like it's the lights. Um, but we'll definitely try and figure that out. I do have a <clears throat> a full um, setup, like options area. Um, some of this stuff isn't actually hooked up to anything yet. Um, audio is very much, except for the voice. Uh, there is a voice channel, but there's no voices or anything in the game yet. I plan on um, doing some voices, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, and then we have display. This is just standard stuff. Uh, V-Sync is always good. Uh, then we have our uh, basic graphic settings. That's just getting the graphic settings from Unreal itself. Um, also starting to notice, I think um, uh, OBS is actually using a lot of resources right now. Um, so that is also why my uh, my GPU is a little bit on the higher end. 
Um, let's see. We also have a full uh, control system, and it does support um, uh, uh, like controllers, so gamepad, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, um, and it does support changing the the key binds. Um, I know an artifact. I did not have the support for um, controllers, at least for the most part. Um, and then you have your, your key binds here as well for a keyboard and mouse. Um, and then we have a, a basic credits. Um, because I work on all my games pretty much alone, um, this is more like an Easter egg than anything. Um, yeah, so maybe self-conceited. I think it's funny, but... All right, so let's get into the game. This is the logo. And I'm wondering how OBS is gonna handle this. Well, if OBS is playing as choppy as it looks in the preview, um, I'm probably gonna have to re-record this, but if it's running smooth in the end, maybe not. Um, all right, so I'm just re-recording the uh, the beginning part. OBS didn't want to properly handle the video, um, and it didn't decide to record the uh, the actual gameplay audio, like the background music or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go through the main menu again just because I've already shown that, uh, but I will pop into the game. All right, that seems to be running um, significantly better. Uh, so this is the um, the main area. Uh, it's just where the player will be, be getting their bearings. Um, it's not going to be too too important. Um, it'll be more of like a tutorial area, um, and has all these like the barrels and the boxes and um, they're all like physics objects um, um, and I do have a, a player model um, with full animations uh, and everything let's see uh, when I walk up to the door it will like give me the information um, basically it's interact information um, right now the door is locked and you can actually hear it when you try to open it. Um, so I'm pressing E on the keyboard, which is the um, the interact key. Um, and it's doing that banging. Um, there's a key over here. Um, and when you look at it, it'll say pick up key, which is also some interact text. Now when I come over to the door, it'll say open. And now um, this is again, just like a loading area. Um, and once I hit the halfway mark, that door will shut and it will lock so I can no longer um, go back to that section. Um, and then we are over at the new section, which this is going to be the, um, the library. It's not fully, um, it's not finished yet. Um, the door is locked. The key is over here. This is very much a temporary. Um, location. Um, so I only have a, a base section set up for the library. Um, ignore the, the void outside. Um, that obviously won't be there for long. Um, and the chairs are fully, um, like they're physics based, so I can knock them over or whatever. Um, the candlelight, I will be working on making it not that large for, uh, for the flame. Um, it's actually using the same particle from the torch, um, and just kind of scaled funny. Um, and over here we have a bookshelf. Um, these weird, um, issues with the geometry, that's not um, what it's going to obviously be in the end. Um, it's just because I put this together in a couple hours. 
today. Um, I'll most likely have some form of a, a beam going right through here. Um, and same thing with this. This is just very quickly put together. Um, I'll be fixing it. Um, then this is a little area. Um, what's going to be like kind of a studying area for obviously not the player, but just I say aesthetic piece. Um, looks like this candle, for some reason, the light didn't decide to to cast, and I probably will have to to rebuild the lighting. Um, same thing with like the burns over here, or what looks like burns. It's actually um, the lighting just need to be rebuilt. Um, then we have a bookshelf over here. Um, I plan on using these uh, for some kind of puzzle. Um, but I'm not sure yet. Um, nothing over here, just void. And over here, there isn't too, too much. It's just emptiness and an invisible wall here. Um, that's just because the, the blockout tool that I used, um, I set it to not be visible in, uh, in game so you wouldn't see it like poking through the walls or anything. Um, this is this area for now. And as you see, this door is also fully locked and we'll say locked. Um, and that is, that is pretty much it for this area. Um, I will go back to the main menu just so you can see the uh, the logo pop up. It didn't show up in the original part of the video. Um, and then the quit to desktop and the are you sure? Yes, I am. And now hopefully OBS will decide that it wants to work again. Um, <clears throat> so I've already kind of uh, pulled out a rough um, story for the game. Um, not going to get too, too much into it just because kind of want that to be a surprise for when the game comes out. Oh, and I, I kind of forgot to show this area. This is, um, well, this is just a, a backdrop area, basically to show where you came from. Um, this won't be, like, accessible by the player or anything. It's specifically to be, um, yeah, to be just a decoration. Um, and for the this level over here, this is a library. I'm actually basing it off a, a real, well, roughly blocking it out as a real library. Um, <clears throat> so I got I got a blueprint. I'm not actually sure what library this is, to be honest. Um, but I got a blueprint to a library. Um, and that's what I'm using to, to do my block out. Um, and let's see. Other than that, that's... Um, that's it for now. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I'm very excited about this project, especially because um, it's really one of my first um, 3D games, at least um, to the point where I can actually make a 3D game. Um, a lot before I wasn't able to just because um, I didn't have the, the prerequisite skills. Um, in game dev um but now i think i'm i think i'm uh i think i'm at least there halfway there at least um but but thank you guys for watching um this is drew signing out